Alright, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Today we got how soccer transfer window works. And if you're new, like, comment, subscribe. You can recommend an IG in the comment section. Um, go follow the TikTok for shorter clips. But this is something I needed, bro. I didn't understand, and I'm sorry it said soccer, but how football transfer window works. I didn't understand how like the transfer thing works. It like trade, like which is like a trade. How you do it in other sports like when we trade in other sports we trade for like okay you trade player for player or picks for player i think in football they trade money for players and sometimes you do that in basketball but most likely you don't do it or in like other sports but it's not really as common you usually do player for player pick for player so let's see how this works. I don't, I, this, Every sport I don't understand. has a part of the calendar dedicated to rumor and speculation. Mm -hmm. The NFL has the draft, college football has signing day, baseball, the trade deadline, and in pro soccer, it's the transfer window. Okay. Every club needs the transfer market. Even the most successful development academies in the world, like those of Barcelona or Bayern Munich, are we provide Madrid? about half of the team's roster at the best of times. So they need to buy the rest of their players, and other teams okay. need the cash that comes from selling them. There are two transfer windows. The first runs from June through August. That big window lets teams build their squads in the off season. A so second small right now we in June through August, so we in the first transfer window. So this is the beginning of the season transfer window. Getting players set in pieces. The seasons are just now starting. Getting pieces, you can move pieces from here to there. Da, 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 da. So I understand that part. We're in the beginning, trying to get the team set up for this to the winter part. So I guess the winter, you make the teams. You get the trades, maybe get some more players in to make that final push for these final championships and league wins and stuff like that. I think I get Window that. Window in January allows teams to replace injured players or add the final pieces for a championship run. See, yeah. Or, on the flip side, sell players for cash if their season's already over. If they're lost. already over, yeah. Transfers start with scouting. Clubs look all over the world for players from Brazil to Australia to Zimbabwe, along with everywhere in Europe. Once a team finds a player at once, it then has to work out a deal with the club. That means sorting out a transfer fee. So the transfer fee, okay, you look all around the world scouting. So is it kind of like how he said in the beginning of the video, NFL draft. Like, let's say I'm a young 19-year-old from, I'm going to say where my real original, where my grandma, not my grandma came from, my mom's mom came from, Liberia. Let's say I'm a, a kid in Liberia, right? And I'm playing, and I'm good, and I'm playing for some clubs over there. So when a transfer window works, if somebody's been scouting me, is it kind of like a draft? And then they'll be like, yo, we've been watching you for such, such, and such. We'll pay your club, let's say, $10 million for you to come over here and play on our U20 team. Like, let's say Barca says, yo, can you come over here and pay for our U20 team to my club for, like, $10 million? My club like, oh yeah, we can use this ten million to do this, this, and this. So they accept it, and I just go out there, and that ten million can help my club grow. Is that how like, is that how some clubs like some clubs that start off on the ground get bigger by like a player coming from that club and then transferring out and somebody paying that money for that player to transfer out? Is that how that works? I think I'm getting it. I think. Transfer fee can be tiny, say the equivalent of a month's rent, or astronomical, like the hundred Castle. million euros that Real Madrid paid for Gareth Bale. Once the two sides agree on a fee, the buying club then negotiates with the player on a new contract. This is important. So, so you had to pay for somebody to leave, or the player to transfer, and then you still have to negotiate a new contract. So the transfer fee is isn't even a part of the contract, like at all. Like, the contract is separate from the, the transfer fee. So let, let's say, I think we watched him another video one time. They paid $96 million for him to transfer from Manchester United to Real Madrid. So they paid the $96 million. That's not even Ronaldo's contract. So let's say they paid $200 million for Ronaldo's contract. That means they paid around, let's say they paid $210 million. That means they paid around $300 million just for Ronaldo. It, it, hold up. Because <laughs> that's right. That is honestly crazy. Three hundred million for one player. That's over a quarter of a billion dollars for one player. Just to get him over to the team, Ben had to sign a contract to him. Is that how that works? Please explain to me. And financially, the transfer can't happen without the player signing on, and the wages may end up costing the buying club more money than the transfer fee. Another wrinkle to transfer. So 
you can't transfer without the player agreeing to the contract too. So the player also has to get the. So let's say in that scenario, like I said, ninety six million just to get him, then you pay two hundred million, two hundred ten million. Does that mean I basically gotta have three hundred million ready? <laughs> That's crazy. Financial fair play for clubs in Europe, UEFA requires teams not to spend exorbitantly more than they bring in. Otherwise, rich owners could give their clubs an unlimited budget and pay the club's losses from their own pockets. Okay. It's not so much a salary cap as it is forcing oil barons to play by the economic principles of normal people. Okay, that's 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 legit. I understand that. So you don't have teams that's like crazy OD paying all this money, then all these rich people that own oil things everywhere, having the richest people in the world. You know what I'm saying? Just paying out of their own pockets the expenses that they're spending, so they don't go spend five hundred million to get Messi, Ronaldo, and all these players on the same team and be able to pay the team's debt off because they just got the extra money. That's understandable. That's that's respect. That's transfer understandable. market may be an odd quirk of the soccer business, but it's necessary for a global game where players move between dozens of leagues with different sets of rules. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the rumors. All right, go watch the Kevin Mbappe video why he wants to leave PSG. This is the reason why I decided to do this video because it talked about transferring from him from PSG to Real Madrid. They offer 160 million for his transfer. So with that 160 million, that's what I want y'all to answer. Would that 160 million be separate from the contract they offer? Let's say they offer him 200 million. Wait, they have to have 360 million basically offered. So 160 to PSG and then 200 to. Mbappe, with that how they work? Let me know if I got it. Let me know if I understood this good. Let's gonna end the video. Like I said, follow the IG. Recommend the videos through there in the comment section. Go follow the TikTok. Jerry, I love y'all. I'm out.